Prime Minister hands over six social houses in St. Anne, names Montego Bay Road in honor of Tony Hart, and we are restructuring the NHT to ensure that it is building houses for those who are in what we consider working class, low income, and looking for affordable solutions. You're watching Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Vaughn Davis. Prime Minister Andrew Holness was in St. Anne recently, where six families received two- and three-bedroom homes through the new social housing program, Enship. The families hail from Cave Valley, Bamboo, Sturge Town, Goshen, and retirement in the parish. Mr. Holness reiterated that accountability measures were in place to ensure that every dollar allocated to the Enship would go towards the neediest families across Jamaica. We always try to make sure that things are fair. So a part of the fairness is to ensure that there is no corruption, that the projects operate on time, that they follow the procurement guidelines, that all the funds are accountable, and that the beneficiaries are deserving. Among the recipients was Jennifer Finnegan, who lost her home to fire. Words can't express how much I'm grateful to you and everyone who has helped me through my difficult times. I love you all. Tamara Williams, who received a two-bedroom dwelling, was also appreciative of her new home. I really appreciate it. Yeah, really, really appreciate it. And thanks to Mr. Andrew Owens and Member of Parliament, Krista Lee, and Mr. Hill and the rest of the team. While in St. Anne, the Prime Minister disclosed that the newly implemented interest rate policy at the National Housing Trust, NHT, would ensure fairness in the distribution of home loans. Going forward, income will be the sole determinant to access loans from the NHT, which once had special rates for certain groups such as the disabled and public sector workers. So that people who sell in the market, the domestic helper, the mechanic, your barber, the shopkeeper can also get an NHT benefit. So you notice what the government has done, therefore. The government is not just looking for one set of people. The government is ensuring that the benefits that it gives covers everyone in the society. Still in St. Anne, the Prime Minister visited the family of Antria Ratri, her 13-year-old son and 50-year-old common-law husband. The three were found with chop wounds and their throats slit at their home in Freehill in July. Mr. Holness reiterated the government's commitment to providing the family with counselling support. Tony was a visionary. He was a philanthropist. A humanitarian described as a serial entrepreneur but I would say a successful entrepreneur and a patriotic Jamaica. Prime Minister Andrew Holness gave those remarks in Montego Bay on Friday as he opened the renamed Southern Cross Boulevard renamed the Tony Hart Boulevard. Mr. Hart was instrumental in the development of the Montego Bay Free Zone, where the roadway named in his honor is located. In addition to the expansion of berths and the construction of global services, Prime Minister Holness disclosed that more development was planned for the Montego Bay Freeport area, among them the redevelopment of the roadway. The Port Authority has acquired the green areas separating the lagoon and the roadways and is committed to maintaining and developing this area in a way which is environmentally sustainable while allowing for new attractions and entertainment along the boulevard. Ideally, the development will take the form of one or more public-private partnerships. A recipient of the Order of Jamaica, Tony Hart passed away on August 20, 2020. And that's it for Jamaica House Weekly. Be sure to join us next time for more of the news stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.